Era is mid right now on the Void Spirit. Level 3 has only 1 and 8th of Remnant. Will connect onto Weeha. Supreme gets off the the ult of his, along with Saberlight actually coming in. So the life drain was there, but it gets canceled off as GH is here to support his comrade in arms. But Supreme will live through the Necker ult. Of course, it was used mostly for the stun as Weeha looks like he will live. There's the Coddle Blast Kuroki dealing a lot of damage. Supreme has to decrep himself just to live through the day. GH was, will finally be the first one to fall in this engagement as Era now on the run. So it looks like in the end here, Nip come out on top in terms of the trades. I mean, you look at the dire lineup, what's the physical damage component? You have a Nature's Prophet who needs items and talents. Oh, good Sprout. Oh, Saber Miracle Light. getting blocked off. And it looks like the life drain is going to be just enough as Air was there to help watch and clap. As top lane, looks like the Ice Path will connect onto Mind Control. Charlie is surrounded by three heroes, though. And here comes Saber Light. This is the global presence that you get with the Nature's Prophet. Gets GH in his grasp. Will attempt to TP out, but the Ice Path is actually not even needed. Charlie just dealing a lot of damage. Has phase boots. With the Illusion Ring. That's why he used it, or he would have saved it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're seeing some clear weaknesses in Enigma's lineup right now with what it's not able to do. The lineup has very, like, Ooh. relatively... Oh, hang on. We'll talk later. Oh, another oh. life on the three heroes with the Ice Path to follow. Michael is going to go down. Era jumps in, and it looks like they'll find two heroes right off the bat. The Necro ult will go off. It's not enough to take out Seneco as the heal is there for Supreme. Three dead for Team Nigma, and it looks like Weeha will be the fourth. And things are going really quickly. When Pugna starts snowballing like this, it becomes nasty oh, real quick, and they're going to find me. Miracle decrept, and he's just dead. Just like, oh my god. Whew. Amplifying that damage to a high degree. Era, looks like he's going to find Weeha. Sprout coming in, mind control, should be able to help out here. Illuminate comes out in the meantime. Looks like Coddle actually dies very quickly as Weeha, of course, very tanky on this, this Necrophos, but when you're surrounded by the literal entirety of NIP, means that you will fall regardless. So th these track kills are starting to add up real fast as they have a 5k net worth lead. How are they gonna kill people yep. right now? He sure does. They're going to go on top of Weeha again. He's already at half HP. But there's the ultimate from Kuroki. Gets four people in his mitt. Looks like they'll be able to find the Pugna pretty easily. Weeha actually uses his ult to finish him off, despite being extremely low. Saberlight attempting to TP out. Looks like he will do so successfully. I would just like to say, honestly, like maybe a Mjolnir? Just put it on a frontline hero and just get to work. Do all that magic damage. Another trap is potentially set here. From the Radiant side, is there's the ult, the Willow Wisp. Charlie is sucking. He's going to pop the drums. It looks like he's going to take the Necro ult to the face. 50 seconds on the deck, which means Nip as a whole just needs to get the hell out of dodge. They will finally save a stun for this pesky nature's prop, and that's going to be a second kill now as Weeha starting to get back in this game as the outpost will be successfully taken over. So it's a one-for-one -one split. Miracle is going to run right into the Saber Light. There's the Sprout. Quelling Blade was actually on cooldown. I know he used it on the bottom side. Oh He's going to get destroyed. My goodness, this damage. Holy jeez. And now they are absolutely on the run here. Dragon Tail onto Saberlight. Era. I'm going to find the Sprout, but doesn't last very long. Obviously, the Quelling Blade on Dragon Knight as well, but he is completely surrounded. Looks like Mind Control will fall. This is not quite a dieback, but his respawn time will definitely be uh, quite high. 60 seconds on the deck for him. This is the scary part. Spirit Vessel is finished onto the Bounty Hunter, like oh, he talked about. Path. GH is barely going to get clipped there, and that's going to be another kill in their favor and another track. Gold says no game. He had to yeah. lane against Bounty Hunter, got his gold stolen all the time. Now he bought back and died again. <laughs> he has the same net worth as the enemy Jakiro at minute 22. It's just I mean, there. Oh, Necro, Weeha, we caught off guard. Shuriken's going to do a decent amount of damage. Spirit Vessel is applied. Looks like Coddle is going to use his ult. It's going to clip two heroes. Saberlight is going to be the main one, but they're going to focus onto the Pugna. Supreme at half HP. Era dealing as much damage as he can with the Astral Step. Looks like they will find Weeha first as GH looks to be next on the list. And now Nip is just continuing to clean up. Mind Control inside his Dragon form relatively early, actually going to drop as well. Three dead. Mirica will be the fourth. Pops the essence ring, but doesn't matter. It's not enough. We're talking a lot about the bounty like he won the game on his own. I think they've just had insane spell casting and IP. The Jakiro and the Void Spirit have done so much. Oh, but they obviously Weeha, get amplified. Nice like quelling there from Miracle. Helping Weeha out as much as possible. Kuroki has Will-O-Wisp 
puts it down and pick, catches the entirety of Nip, basically. They're going to get the Necker ult onto Era. That's going to be the first one to drop here. BKB, new one, picked up by Charlie. That's 10 seconds, my friend. Weeha just getting right clicked down into Oblivion. Looks like Troll Warlord is next on the list. And regardless of the fact that Era died first, it looks like Nigma will lose this fight pretty heavily. Sinead for getting off his full combo. And <laughs> Troll just blows up. That half HP just gets blown up when he's in a Decrepify. There's another Decrepify on GH this time. And yeah, this one, it has to be close to over Syndrome. Kuroki in the fountain. Will they dive? My favorite mechanic in the game. Yes, I love it. <laughs> that wasn't quite a dive, but that's okay. I, more I was anticipating the dive and it didn't work out that's as they call it. GG. Into being able to five man with a little more initiative. They get the Nyx now, so they have a catch. And a side benefit of having the Underlord in the safe lane is the access to the big camp, right to uh, right to the side of his wave. But NIP have predicted this, and they've already put a sentry to block it off. They might have also done it anyway against Chen. Oh, I don't know. I Kuroki I don't has to pop his fairy oh. fire. He's a lot of damage. First blood's going to go the way of Charlie on that troll warlord. He's it was on cooldown. Weeha's getting aggressive. Supreme, taking a lot of damage. Weeha, not able to finish him off. Still six wand charges, of course. Era did... By the way, still level one. Did steal the bounty rune uh, amidst Kuroki. But Kuroki will be fine in the jungle. Here's Mind Control. Does get that one kill we talked about. We called it Cinderin. But we said yeah. Saberlight wouldn't feed. So that means he won't die anymore in lane. Unless he's ganked. That doesn't count. Weehaw in the meantime might not be able to save himself as Puck comes in supreme, able to take him out with quick succession. It's all it's relative. It's always by contrast. <laughs> no. yeah. In order to, to truly appreciate bottom patches, lane, you need to have had bad Mind luck. control, will he die? This time around, Stampede is used. And they will finally take him out. Chen is getting a mech soon as well, by the way. Can you get through Hand of God and this beefy Underlord frontline to get kills with Puck? And who, who are you ganking with? I think Puck has to gank with Centaur. Oh, right this is a good kill. Dead. Yeah, he's yep. really out of position here. Here's the answer to your question. Just kill Weehaw in the jungle. But the Hand of God is going to keep him alive a little bit longer. Coddle does use the ult a little bit defensively, but I think that was the right move. It dissuades the rest of Team Nigma. Because if he does do that and they fail two fights, his heroes just meet, right? Yeah. This way he ensures that he stays relevant. So oh, maybe they identified era. that they weren't favored enough. Oh my enough. goodness. Oh, he died. We've seen Maelstrom. I don't know. I don't know how fast he would ever get Mjolnir on a hero like Troll, mm. but Maelstrom is definitely a normal uh, pickup yeah. from time to time. Saberlight getting slowed perpetually from from Miracle. Seneco being found out by Mind Control. Does have his Pit of Malice available? Oh, he actually gets Yules very shortly before that. Coil onto two. This is the time to try to kill Miracle if they can, but no damage to follow. Nice blinding light, but that's going to be the death of Lena to start this fight for Team Nigma. As Troll comes into the fray, able to take out one here. That's the Aegis, though. And it looks like the Underlord will not be able to get out with the Dark Rift. Miracle now on the run at half HP. Seneco still here with his mech fully good to go. Spirit Vessel is applied to Miracle. He's going to attempt to get out. Doppelganger. Is he faking this? No. My God, he gets bursted through the illusion. And that it's is the, three for nothing. And it's the, the same problem again. It's so important that Lina doesn't become the target of the fight. It's the best case scenario for an MVP, and they very clearly have identified this and just snowballed that fight. Oh, they want to go for more, but the counter initiation from Suneko. Can they kill Weeha again? No, he's super, super fast. But they will get the tier two tower. Charlie will net it for himself. will -O still available there. Like you talked about, the Roche was taken. Oh, Saber Light is going to start it off. Be able to get it. Yeah, he gets stunned right off the bat. Puck gets two in his coil, but Peel is not one of them. That's a really important hero to get into that coil. They're going to find the Nyx Assassin. Looks like he will be the first to fall, but two big ults are used just for that. Chen will be the follow up kill. Buy back onto the GH. Kuroki at half HP still has Hand of God available. Wants to wait until some teammates are a little bit low to get full value out of that. Saber Light, of course, with that Crimson Guard. Double Impale from the bop. Buy back onto GH. Is now Era in quite a bit of trouble. Has to time lapse that. We are in a weird position again. Completely surrounded by enemies. He's going to get taken out pretty easily by the support Era on the Weaver. I believe this last right click should do the trick. Indeed, it does. Troll Warlord very low. Pops his ult inside the Pit of Malice. He's going to lifesteal a little bit here. Does he have enough to actually get out? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, contesting thing. My English is escaping me right <laughs> Point now. of contention. <laughs> Point of contention. Thank you, Cinderella. Uh -huh. Blink in hoof stomp onto the Underlord. That's oh, the tank really target, of course. GH gets a nice impale. 
But there's a Caudal ult on top of two. Nyx Assassin at half HP. Looks like they're going to find uh, Underlord pretty easily. Actually, surprisingly so. But I guess when it's a 5v1, it's, it's not too hard after all. GH falls now. And that means that Roche can open up here. There is a buyback, though, and a Dark Rift available. Enigma did and not Mind seem Control ready is going to use it. Hey, that was weird to watch. Mind Control was tanking the gank. They had Nyx next to it. I was going to say, out of the two teams, I don't know who's going to win this game, but Nip has just looked very solid. Like, they haven't really made any huge mistakes in either game so far. Oh, this Roche a big moment. getting quite low. Supreme has Coil available. Oh, they're going to find the Troll Warrior. He gets lsa into the Laguna Blade. The defensive Crimson Guard is going to keep him alive for now. Coil onto a couple heroes, it looks like, as Charlie will whack away at this Underlord. He's at half HP. This is going to be a dieback if they're able to get him. Underlord pops the Pit of Malice, but that is an absolute dieback for him. Kuroki at half HP now already popped his Hand of God. Charlie has no mana to speak of. It's going to try to 1v1 Miracle, or now it's turned into a 4v1 as there's the stun. He's rooted again. It's going to be really close. Charlie ends up getting the kill. It's a 3 for nothing, and somehow Troll will live, and it looks like Weeha will be the fourth death. And Roche is free. As, okay, <laughs> Troll did die. <laughs> oh. All right. They oh, do man. find that kill. Who takes the Aegis now? I guess it's Supreme. But a really good fight again from Nip. Man, they're playing so well today. Yeah. Weaver eggs and oh my god, they found GH. Oh, I didn't see that he had that finish. Damn. Well, Impale's going to miss. And the silence is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's a they're, full team they're destroying them. And it's a it's days. a good value. I think in this patch, Dagon is better than before because of the you know the net worth changes. It's higher impact when you get it than before, uh, relative to the field of items. And obviously now that pucks are favoring spell amp over phase shift attack a lot of the time, it's amplified that much more. Right, so it's good. Time lapse is actually so broken. For Centaur, is not good at hitting buildings that can't attack him. That's he doesn't consider it a fair fight. If they can't attack, he, heart he doesn't do jack. It rhymes as well. You were right, Shannon. You are right the whole time. Centaur is indeed going to high ground this game. You called it in the Thank beginning you. of the game. <laughs> I'm always right. Let's be real here. Okay, here's the initiation. Dark Rift was activated. Very oh, They're trying to save Miracle's life. Looks like they'll do so. They'll have a short walk back. Charlie, no more ult for you, my friend. They don't even get the range rack, although Era might go in for a little poke here. Uh, ends up getting the... Uh, Time lapsed again. Not sure how long the Aegis is going to last. They do get the range racks. Saber Light is all alone. But again, Aegis, <laughs> time lapse in four seconds. This is a raid boss like I've never seen. Oh, he kind of wants him. to die, I feel like. I feel like he needs to die here. They want to actually use the Aegis to some degree. But we'll see if that ends up being correct or not. He has 111 right regen now. because his heart is also amping the region he gets from the repair kit. <laughs> See, I feel like this might be a game where if Miracle does get 25, you take the critical strike, man. You're doing no damage right now. Good lord. And oh, Caudal can always give him the mana kicking. that he just had burned. Man, this is sexy. There we go. Wow, this... All right, well, initiation. There's the Abyssal Blade onto the puck. They're going to find him with the Laguna Blade. So a good start for Team Nigma to start this off. But Charlie, still living through the day, has the BKB activated. No ult for a little bit. Has to pop the cheese. Will attempt to TP out. Will do so successfully. Going to kill in these fights. He's by far the hardest. And he actually has an illusion escape, which is incredibly good oh, for him. He's going to get hook stomp. Charlie. They do a lot of damage. There's the Abyssal Blade to counter him to some degree. Gets the doppelganger oh. off. But he's finding the right one. Wow, that was actually really unlucky for Miracle. Does Coddle have gold for travels? Let's see if he buys that. If they really commit here. Or if they're going to wait for him to TP outpost and then run over. For now, he's you not really eyeing think it he'll up. Buy a for... travel right now? When he's so close to Lincoln's? He's waiting for refresher, I think, on Caudal, right? Is he better? Or, I mean, sorry. sorry, refresher. I meant, yeah. I was, I was just curious if they had made the, if they've made the call that Peel has no buyback here, or they're like, we don't think he does. You could have right. travels and just be here right now. Oh, he'll stop onto two. Can they get Lita? This is gonna be a dieback onto Weeha if they're able to do so. Impale connects. Weeha will be safe now. Underlord. Gets the Pit of Malice. Wait, will we be safe? <laughs> Supreme comes up with a level 3 dag, and there is the Hand of God to keep him alive a little bit longer, but not long enough. 120 seconds die back for Weeha. Mind Control will be the second to die. Does have buyback. Going to continue on to GH. Have to be careful here because PL is now alive, but it is a 5v4. A lot of spells have been expended, including that, that Will-O-Wisp. believe Team Nigma have to give up this bot racks at the very least. 
They won't have a choice. <laughs> and the question is, will Nip continue? Likely. They have no yes. reason not to. They can keep giving mana to this troll with the Caudal. They have Aegis, Cheese. They have the whole thing. It's Indeed. over, man. He's done Aegis. Aegis is good to go. Gonna get stunned up. Underlord, this will be a dieback on him. He's able to get it off. Stampede is there. Charlie, very low on HP, very low on mana, but there's a time lapse again. But, you know, he has Aegis. So at the end of the day, doesn't really care too much about dying right now. And Miracle. He's able to do a decent amount of damage. Gets blinding lit. Still a 5v4 as the buyback onto the next assassin comes through. Troll Warlords, Aegis finally gets popped. As the right clicks will commence from Miracle. Trying to save this game for his team. They are down 0-1. They will be out of the series. And this is going to be Mega Creeps at the very least, if not more. Because Lena is still dead for 45 seconds. Charlie... No ult for another 15 seconds. Has to be a little bit careful, but time lapse is still in the back as Era is fully healthy and good to go. But so is Charlie. That is Mega Creeps. Lots of mana being supplied to Charlie. This is like a Valorant game center. Lots of supports left, right, and center, my friend. Charlie, time lapse. Oh. No, he doesn't get it off. Troll Warlord dies, but Mega Creeps are intact. It looks like they're going to get the Abyssal Blade off again. So Puck, basically using that <laughs> just on Puck this game, it feels like. And Team Nigma might be able to get a few kills here, but the question is, can they do more than that? Because they are down Mega Creeps. Two buybacks available on Centaur and Troll. I mean, they have buybacks Thanks on so several heroes here. Everyone uh, but the just came up. They're going to jump Weeha again. And again, the same result. He drops to his death. will o -Wisp was used, though. Yes, Not the best placement here. They're going to go on top of Miracle. The towers are going down pretty quick. That's a double Will-O-Wisp bolt now. And there are the right clicks, and Miracle will fall. 100 seconds on the deck, but buys back into the game immediately. GH is in a lot of trouble. And they can just go for the, the, the Ancient here. And there's not a whole lot that Team Nigma can do, considering this Will-O-Wisp is redonkulous, especially with that talent. Look at the AoE on this thing. Good God. Actually insane. And Era, of course, still has that time lapse available if anybody's even remotely low. GH and company, they really just can't do anything. Time lapse? Is it coming soon? Not even needed. Ancient, destroyed, and nip.